from my heart and from my hand. Why don't people understand my intention? Hey, it's Emma, super sensitive human, and today we're doing some mad science in my kitchen. Let me show you. My pristine laboratory over here. We have four different sunflowers, and I want to see which sunflower will last the longest. And uh, they're each in a different solution or situation. So clearly this isn't super scientific because I only have one flower to work with for each thing of water and uh, they're not in exactly the same amount of light here. But sunflower number one is on a Tesla purple plate. This is a metaphysical scalar energy device that is supposed to energize things near it. Sunflower number two has an eighth of a teaspoon of EM1 microbial inoculant in the water that is supposed to extend its life. All these are in a jug of water from the store, same water. Um, this is uh, primarily lactobacillus. This one's just regular, nothing done to it. And this one is grounded to the earth outside. So it's getting uh, negative earth ions in its water um, through this little piece of, I have a piece of speaker ca cable dangling in the water attached to a coat hanger that is set into the wet ground. So I can show you that it is grounded using my multimeter here. We will put the uh, one end in the water and stick the other end into the socket. And it's reading zero right now, but let me put the wire back in. And there we go, 122 volts. Take the wire out, zero. Put it in, 122. So we know that it's grounding. This would have to be replicated many times, obviously, to be convincing, but I'm excited to see what sunflower lasts the longest. Which one do you think? An update on the sunflowers after about five days. The one in the uh, grounded water is doing the best. Um, it has the most uh, wet, the petals are still wet and not so uh, dried up and crunchy and falling off as the other ones. Uh, pretty much, I think they're this one's the worst and this one's the best, so it may just be that the sunflower closest to the windows is the happiest sunflower. So we'll have to repeat this experiment and uh, see what happens because the one on the plate's the worst. The effective microorganisms is the next most dead. The uh, one in plain water is the... Uh, second most alive and the one in the grounded water is the most alive. But I'll keep it going because uh, it'll be interesting to see if they uh, their stems get preserved or they mold up or whatever. So the sunflower experiment, I'm gonna throw them away and start over with new flowers but what I noticed is that two of them have the most mold starting to grow on the back, which I think would mean that they were the most moist <laughs> of the sunflowers and that the ones that lasted the longest, which is true. They lasted the, you know, the longest on this side and dried out the fastest on this side. And these two on the end have a lot of these spots of mold starting to grow on the green parts. 
So we'll switch it up. I'm going to use some different kind of flowers and maybe I'll ground the one that is farthest away from the window to see if that makes any difference. And I'm going to have to get a longer piece of wire though. All right, flower experiment. Take two, I just reversed the order from last time. So grounded, um, normal, lactobacilli, effective microorganisms, and uh, purple magic plate. And uh, I displace in a little extra cord to get over to here. Okay, well, unfortunately the results of flower experiment number two were inconclusive. The flowers seem to age at approximately the same rate in each jar, which was unevenly. I think it depended on when the flower itself was picked and how many days old or into bloom it was when it was picked because each one kind of had like a one that lasted longer than the others. So, no conclusions, maybe the sunflowers were a better flower to test with, maybe when you cut the sunflower after it's opened that they're all approximately the same age, I don't know, because I only put one sunflower in the jar each time, so I didn't have like uh, a way to compare them between jars. The one that has uh, no nothing nothing done to it has two flowers that are rotting in the stem down there inside the droopy flowers here so that one is the most rotten but this one has a droopy flower too that's grounded so no no real evidence that any of the treatments are doing anything this was the one um, with probiotics in it the energy device but you know when I first thought of this is because somebody there's a there's a video I'll have to look up the title but there's a documentary about earthing which is the grounding of human beings and living things and for, for health reasons and they this person in Alaska talks about grounding their cut flowers and them lasting longer and they were sunflowers so uh, maybe I'll just do one that's like I'll get one bunch of six sunflowers and like put three in regu regular ungrounded water and three in the grounded water and just test that because uh, having to split the flowers up into more things is uh, making it harder to see if it's the age of the flower itself or just the water that's doing uh, the aging. Sorry to disappoint with no exciting results. You can try it at your own home and let me know what results you get with your flowers. Maybe you have some cut flowers so you don't have to buy any. It is the middle of summer right now. And, uh, you know, if you just want to ground something, you just take, take a wire, put it in the water, put it in the ground, in the other end, far enough into the ground that it's kind of damp and it should be conductive. This here is just speaker wire from the hardware store, but I'm sure you can uh, find many conductive materials that you could do this with.